How's it going folks before this video gets started I want to say huge thanks to Fishbrain for sponsoring today's video you guys will see a little bit later We're gonna be using the bite time feature and exact catch position feature on the app to help us go fishing and catch more fish It'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out If you guys don't know what Fishbrain is basically it's an app that helps you catch more fish You see where people all around the entire country are catching fish where they're catching them when they're catching them What type of species what they're catching them on all that fun stuff. It'll be linked down below It's the best app out there for all things fishing you guys will see that a little bit later, but for now enjoy the video Bonzo's back, and uh, we've got goats to tend to. Dude, they've destroyed that uh, table over there. It's all uh, it's all destroyed. I put a piece of plywood on it to try to fix it, and they knocked the piece of plywood off and used it as a, a ramp, is what it looks like. But we need to feed. We need to feed these guys. Is that... Oh, that is ice. Dude, their water's kind of frozen. I didn't think it got that cold last night. It must have. Hey, touch that fence. You won't. You're not doing it? No. Nope. I thought you were a badass, though. What the hell, man? It's like a slushy for them. Oh, no. It might be completely frozen. Is it really frozen? Yeah, there's, there's good ice I mean, they can. There. What the? Bro! This ain't supposed to be happening yet. It's down to like 30 degrees. I'm sorry. Was it cold? Hey, would you relax? Was it cold last night? I'm sorry. What about you? Were you cold last night? Yeah, you guys need some food. You guys are out of food. But, but yeah, look at this. They broke all these boards. And then I put this piece of plywood on there on top. So they had something to climb on. And then they knocked it off and used it as a ramp. So I think what we need to do is we need to kind of try to fix these boards as much as we can. Lay the piece of plywood. Well, I need to cut the piece of plywood to fit this. And then... Lay the piece of plywood on it and then drill it down to it so that way because I mean I think this is a liability like I feel like especially big boy over there his foot goes through that like I feel like he's toast so I feel like uh we need to probably fix it but I did cut some limbs down yesterday and threw them in here they cleaned them out I mean entirely come entirely clean these things out so we need to take these branches like this that don't have any more excuse me little one excuse me excuse me and throw them out and put them in the put them in the burn pile but it is kind of cool to be able to use you know there's certain trees around here that don't really care for they're kind of small they're useless that i want to get rid of it's nice to be able to give them the goats and give them something to eat so anyways i guess we should probably give them some grain the ducks are quacking so they need some food well no, they definitely have food they've they just like quacking in general would you just relax we need to feed these goats though get your grain well i found some apples let's give them to these goats there you go goat Ugh. you guys want some apples hey hey quit licking her Oh, yep, he's trying to, yep. You guys know what he's doing. Do I need to cut the, hey, can you not? Hey. You want this one? There you go. There you go. Do I need to cut this thing up in apple slices or what? All right, here's what we're gonna do. Hey, back up, children. They're going in the bowl and you guys can fight over. I got you one, just for you. Yeah, just for you. There you go. Now we're over to the chicken coop. Check for some eggs. I don't have any mealworms. I bought some last night and forgot them in uh, in Macy's car, and she left. Oh, oh. Now she's off. So you guys are going to be mealwormless today. I'm sorry, boys. And girls, well, actually, there's one boy and all girls. Looks like they scratched at the pumpkin, though. That's good. I threw some pumpkin in there. How's our food? Dude, they are... I filled this up yesterday. I literally had this thing full yesterday. I think what's happening is the chickens aren't using their food. They're only... Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I, can I help you? He is the most vocal freaking duck. But look, it's like halfway gone in one day. This is crazy. No, the other one, dude, I haven't filled the other one in like, oh, since I got the ducks. In the water, the thing about the water, they don't use this water, the chicken stone anymore. They just drink out of this. Really? Yeah. Like, I don't ever have to refill the chicken water or the feeder. They just use all the duck stuff, which, I mean, it's not like it probably hurts anything, but. What do we got? Three? Dude, that's a freaking kager. Sheesh. I thought those ones were supposed to be small. I thought they were too. Look how big that egg is, dude. That's a beefcake. Like, Oh my that's an extra large like at Walmart, you know? That's an extra large. So we got three. That's good. Good work, chickens. I cleaned out all the uh, bedding yesterday, too. So I got good. fresh bedding. Maybe that's what helped with all the eggs. But we got three eggs. Not bad. Goats are taken care of. 
the ducks and the chickens are getting along. They're not killing each other, so that's good. Life's good out here on the flare farm. But I should I should name some of these things, huh? Probably should name. Should we name the ducks? I don't know about naming the chickens. So do you think we should name all the chickens? I feel like that's a lot of work, huh? Like there's no way I'm gonna remember. I couldn't even remember all the pig. We can remember the ducks though. You can remember the ducks. Did anybody comment anything interesting? Or should we go look at the video? All right, all of you guys see this. Uh, okay, we, we have to go with the top comment. James Pond and Quacky Chan. <laughs> that was the number one comment. I feel like it's pretty good. I mean, they're both boy names, but I guess, you know, it's 2019. Who cares? I mean, that one likes the pond more than the other that one. That is true. So we named that one. J James Pond is the, qua is the loud one. And then Quacky Chan. Or qu he quacks he a lot, quack, though. So Quacky Chan. Okay, you're Quacky, quacky Chan. Chan. Okay, all right. Let's get in. Let's get in here and do this the right way. We, we, this is this is what we need to start doing. We need to start naming things and listening to you guys. And you guys come up with amazing names. So this guy, he does never, he never shuts up. So you are Quacky Chan, okay? And you are James Pond, okay? James Pond, and you're a boy. Quacky Chan, we think is a girl. Yeah, you're Quacky Chan because that's all you do is freaking quack. What do you want? Can I help you? Do you need something? All right, well, we didn't name the chickens, except, well, Macy named one, and it was Chicken Nugget. This is Chicken Nugget. That one right there is Chicken Nugget, but we didn't really name the other ones. I mean, we could we could name the other ones, I guess. Should we, should we look at the video? All right, she's loading. Going, going, going. Flair, you need to finish the boat ramp. Okay. Nope. Okay. Here we go. We need Hen <laughs> Hennessy, Henrietta, Henry, Hennifer Lopez, Lindsay Lohan, Princess Leia, McNuggets, little peep. Okay, I would say so. We've got chicken nugget. What about the, stri the striped one? Does any of these any of these seem like they would be the striped one? Or is there maybe there's stripes? Is Marty from Madagascar? Is Marty like the what's Marty? Is he a zebra? Zebra. Okay, yeah. you're Marty. 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 Yeah, we can remember that. Okay, let's write these down. You want to write these down yep. so we don't forget? Cause I will definitely forget. So we've got Marty. We've got chicken nugget. Okay. What about Hennifer Lopez? Hennifer Lopez. Hennifer Lopez. You like that? I like that. She's a girl. Yeah. I mean, Hennifer, I guess they're all girls, but <laughs> Hen Hennifer Lopez is this guy right here. Okay. What about the dark red one? We call it Princess Leia. And this guy is the twin to Chicken Nugget. So should we do Chicken Nugget and McNugget? McNugget. So yep. these these are the twins right here. Boom and boom. So McNugget. Yellow, yellow feet is Nugget. Nugget, yep. Yep. So Chicken Nugget, chicken nugget. McNugget, McNugget, and then that's... Uh, Hennifer Lopez, yep. and that's Princess Leia. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan, okay? So, Princess Leia is the red with dots. Okay. Lindsay Lohan is the red with no dots. Okay, they're all named. You're welcome. We got her done. We got the duck's name, the chicken's name. We still need to work on the goats. We'll wait. We'll wait. Well, yeah, we'll wait. This is a lot of naming. <sighs> Let's uh, fix this table. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you please get off our piece of wood? Oh, yeah. Wow, this wow. is made for it. Yeah. Can you, hey, hey, we haven't screwed it in yet. You're gonna break it. Hello? You trying to eat the fire merch or what? Can you get down? Oh yeah. She ain't moving, boys. All right, we'll do three on the other side and we're good. All right, let's see. Let's get this out. Nope, lifts up the whole table. Okay, don't break it, all right? Please. Oh, uh. oh, it's like a slip and slide. Look at Bud. Was that fun or what? You guys are loving life now, aren't you? Why? Why do you make me do these we things? We need something fun. No, we more. don't. Do You've been getting into animals a lot, and I just want something fun to ride around and rip on. This kid. This kid's, this kid's like, you know, you know, for those of you in high school or went through high school, your parents, maybe your buddies with somebody, and your parents don't like them, and they're like, you know, so-and-so is an instigator. So-and-so is a bad influence. You shouldn't hang out with so-and-so. That's, that's, that's Bonzo. Me. That's like real-life Bonzo with me. <laughs> because all he wants me to do is spend my money on toys for him to ride. And the problem is, I enjoy it too, so I end up just doing it. He's the one that convinced me to do it. He's like, dude, we need a new toy. We need a new, I, okay, I just bought a 12-wheeler. We've got a moped off Jimmy down the road. We have a bro ped. We have a tank. We've got Warthog. We've got goats. We've got freaking everything. But Bonzo wants to go look at new toys, so I found, whatever, let's hook up this, and this is what you do. This is what you do when you live out in the middle of nowhere. You get bored and you go buy things. But anyways, we are going to head up to 
the place where I've, I've bought in one vehicle from. They've got a whole bunch of different things. They've got motorcycles, they got ATVs, they've got all sorts of Jeeps and all cool, bunch of cool stuff. We're gonna head up there, but there is one condition. I gave Bonzo one condition here. I said, okay, I, I, I'll listen to you. We're gonna go to the store and we might buy something, but I wanna fish on my way up there. I just moved out here. Uh, this is a place where I'm not really from, and I want to explore the fishery. So we are going to be using the Fish Brain app to find places to fish. You basically you open the app. There's dots everywhere, and there's a feature called the Exact Catch Position. It literally shows you exactly where somebody caught a fish. Sometimes they put pictures of it and how big the fish were, what they caught them on, stuff like that. So we're going to be using that app as well as the Bite Time feature, which the Bite Time feature tells you when to go fishing. So we're going to look at the Bite Time feature. And we're going to see when to go fishing, and then use the Exact Catch Position feature to figure out where and hopefully we catch some fish on our way up to the store. You guys stay tuned. Well folks, here we are. We got the Fish Brain app open and uh, we're going to be using, like I said, some of the features, the bite time feature, and then also there's a feature that shows you the exact location where people catch fish. So you can see the blue blinking thing is where I am at currently, pulled off into some random town along the way. And um, there's a bunch of different places that, basically all these dots, all these little green dots right here, green, 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 this is where people have caught fish like this green right here these are all fish catches exact pinpoint locations so I'm looking around and it looks like this one's got quite a few right here and so it looks like there might even be a that looks like that could even be a spillway it looks like there might be a creek that runs through that tree line and then people have been catching them right here at the spillway you can see there's been four catches right here there's one here and then one right there so it seems like this little lake there's actually been quite a, in there even down here Looks like there might even be like a bridge. See, there's someone caught down by the bridge, but I think that might be the first place that we try because it looks like you can kind of pull in and maybe fish spillways. You guys know me and spillways. They uh, they usually produce fish, so we'll see what they caught. So it looks like the dude used a hula popper, caught a crappie and two bass. Oh, this guy's back at it again with the black crappie and two bass on a 300 series crankbait. This guy caught a bluegill on a hula popper. Hula popper is the strat here, I guess. It's a little bit cold for that, so we might be using some non-topwater baits, but... Let's see what else have they caught. Another largemouth. Hula popper. Okay, buddy obviously just clashed with the hula popper. So I say we go there. It looks like he's been ripping a kayak through there. But if we can fish the bank uh, from, if we can fish the spillway from the shore, I think that's going to be a strat today. We're going to see it's a little cold outside. It's 52 right now. It was what, 31 this morning? We're, we're all decked out in warm gear. And uh, we've got two rods and some baits. We've got the old rattling Ned and the Lunker log tied on. Might end up chasing those. But anyways, we're going to head to head to that spot. Actually, before we do that, let's check the bite time feature. It's showing at noon, which is right now, is like the about the second highest. Otherwise, you got to go all the way to 4 o'clock, which we ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, and then it's supposed to drop off at 1 and then drop off at 2. So I'm going to go... We better head there right now before we get there before, if we can get there before one, looks like we might have a better chance of catching some fish. Otherwise we need to maybe hit it on our way back from getting the, uh, getting whatever toy we end up getting hit in that four. But anyways, that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's head to the lake. Shoo! Well folks, we made it. We actually made kind of a slight, just a slight change of plans. We went to, well we tried to get to the first spot with the spillway and one of the roads was still closed from the freaking flood. So we're out here at, uh, it actually looks pretty decent. It's like an actual lake. We should have brought a kayak or a boat, but so we don't really have a ton of time today. Bonzo's all excited about buying toys, and all I want to do is freaking go bass fishing. So we're going to try to meet in the middle and do a little a little fishing. Kind of get a strat going here. It's going to be some bank bank fishing adventure. Oh, dude, it's crystal clear. Holy crap, it's crystal clear. Oh, dude, we should get them. Crystal clear water, even when it's cold, isn't that bad of fishing. And then there's some weeds. It looks like maybe over here. Dude, this is a saucy little lake. Where has this been all my life? I never knew this was here. Even looking on maps and stuff, I had never knew this was here. But this was another spot that we found. We found on the fish brain that had, there was like three or four uh, log catches. Um, and they were using like a little curl tail worm or something. There's some brush here. This looks pretty good. I say let's just, and like there's some stumps. I say let's just fish the bank for a bit yeah. and see. I did realize that I totally forgot the old chest mount camera. So we might just stick it on a log or something. We'll figure it out. All right, Bonzo. What do you got tied on? Little. The old rattling. Yeah. And I've got the old Lunker log. And actually I just checked fish brain again to see if there was like more dialed in the spots. And it looked like there might potentially be a teeny little creek spillway. Just kind of like the original place we wanted to go to had a spillway. I think this place has it. I think we're just gonna start on the dam and walk. Like I said, don't, didn't bring the old chest mount, so filming might be a little bit tough, but we're gonna give it a shot here. You guys stay tuned. All right, Bonzo and I are hiking our way down. Oh, this is it right here. Oh, shoo! She's flowing like freaking Bill Owen, boys. It doesn't even look like a pond, though. We might not be fishing here. We might have to go back up top. This is a cool spillway. I've never seen one that's like this. It's like big and wide. 
Yeah, it's like a big slip and slide for the fish. It'd be a freaking, that'd there. be pretty fun. There's only one way to find out. I mean, it goes, it just goes into cattails. Is it so, pretty deep right there? No, it's like a foot and a half. Okay. I mean, this could be a waste, but we already walked down here, so. The only way you figure out there's fish here is to fish it. No, they're definitely not fishing here. We're headed back up to the top. I think we should just start fishing the dam. Bonzo's fishing over there. I'm gonna fish over here. We're at the dam here. This is where the spillway starts. The old lunker log. Shoo! Boom. I say we go flip those that brush, kind of where that, the boat ramp is. I've always had it. This is always a tough time to fish. It's fall. I mean, right now, as like I said, it's like 50 degrees. It's getting down to like freezing, below freezing in the in the evenings and stuff at night. So the fish are usually lethargic, you know, for the most part. But one thing I have had luck on is timber. A lot of times they'll kind of stage up next to some logs and trees and lay downs and stuff like that. So there is a really nice lay down by the boat ramp. So we're gonna go over there. So has got the old rattling on. I've got the lunker log. Hopefully we can catch a fish. I feel like a 20, like 2015 John B where he just like set a camera up everywhere and didn't wear a chest mount. That's what I feel like right now. Oh, we missed it, Rick. We missed him. We missed him. Pulled pulled the worm down a little bit. He felt like a bluegill. If I'm being honest with you guys, that was kind of hype, but it's kind of like a peck peck. Looks like he might have described the tail of it. Did you just I stole your spot? Did you just steal my spot, you Bonzo? Missed a vlog, I stole your spot. I just missed a fish, and Bonzo goes in their cleanup shop. Well, we'll see if he gets it. What the hell, man! I thought you were Van Dam. Yeah. Saying it. I think if we need a boat and if you went back there, there's a lot more timber. You think that'd be the deal? The 10 pounder would the 10 pound the 10 pounder would be pretty good here. I feel like I mean I feel like honestly the spots we fish weren't bad. Like I said, the issue is it's freaking freezing. And uh it's kind of one of those things like you know, you can find like a jerk bait or a lipless crank bait, maybe we might have some better luck over through the grass. We just brought some soft plastics, thinking that that's gonna be the strap, but maybe well, that was a mistake. Maybe we should have brought some hard baits. Uh, stuff like that, but everybody on fish room was catching them with freaking curly tail worms So I figured you know a little lunker logging and rattling that can't be beat But everybody else was also on kayaks, which we're not so, so uh, I guess that's it We got to go buy a toy, but if you guys want to download fish brain, it'll be linked down below It's the best fishing app there is out there. Like I said, we we didn't catch a ton of fish today I know but we don't also didn't have a ton of time But we did use it to find a new cool spot, which is kind of what fishing's all about It's not always about catching all right That's exactly what somebody who didn't catch fish says after a day of fishing is it's not not about catching it's about fishing but i am going to use that line right now uh, because it is pretty cool that we found a new spot maybe we'll go ice fishing in it and maybe you know this spring or even come back with the 10 pounder but yeah, especially the spring with all the vegetation and stuff frog fishing and chatterbait fishing stuff like that should be pretty good but like i said if you guys want to download fish brand, it'll be linked down below make sure you go download it get it if you're a fisherman and you guys want to find spots find where people are catching fish when they're catching them what they're catching them on also what time to fish using the bite time feature it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out anyways let's go uh let's go buy a new farm toy Shoo! Well, folks, we made it finally to the toy store. It's like Toys R Us for grown-ups, even though not really grown-ups, especially this guy. But whoa, man! Whoa, man! What do you think? Don't even get. We are not the water dragons. Get away from well, the sea. We could be a water dragon. What if we rip that at the farm though? Be kind of bakery. Yes. Your pond. I don't know. That kind of be cool. <sighs> it's too cold. I feel like that might be like a spring venture. But for now, okay. So we have. What do we have? We've got. Like I said, we've got the tank. We've got the six-seater. UTV, we've got a bro pad, we've got a moped. So the things I'm looking at now, they have a Jeep. That's pretty sick. We've seen that before. Motorcycles don't have an ATV. What else? Look at those things. Those look cool. They look fast. Those are racing. Those are like sand dune racing ones. Do you so think I feel that like, like down your hills and like jump in? That would be kind of cool. Actually, like that trail. The trail down to my pond is actually pretty much perfect for stuff like this. But dude, there's some freaking weird looking. This is just. This is just bad. Why do I listen to Bonzo? I don't know. Look at this beauty, dude. <laughs> Bro, I want one of these. Look at that. Tell me that's not the freaking sickest thing you ever. You have to pay you to like take this. Like, oh, look at this thing. That's brutal, bro. You know who this it looks like? Yeah, it looks like Kendall's, it yeah. Does. Dude, I want one. <laughs> this thing would be a beefcake. Like, it would be the perfect little wagon to like check on the chickens every morning. Like, you just keep the feed back here. Look at that engine, dude. Check on the chickens with this thing. Oh, yeah. You let him sit in there? Are we gonna get arrested? That thing's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Why don't you buy Bonzo? Oh, okay. kids make Kids made of money. Don't even lie. This kid's got more money than all of us. He's just rolling in it. <laughs> Bonzo, let's get in. All right, let's do it. Dude, this would be the ultimate farm truck. Like, would be. <sighs> I'm debating. 
I think they're like, I think they're a lot though. I'm like, look how much room's back here. What about a motorcycle? You ever driven an actual motorcycle before? Like, I never have. Like yeah, like those? these. Yeah. Oh no. No, I haven't either. There's a, there's a little ATV over here. What about these things? These little guys? That's a Bonzo size. I feel like. Jump on that thing. Let's see. Let's see what Bonzo looks like on this guy. I feel like that's not bad. I feel like this thing would rip. How much does it tell you the? The, the CC or, or something? You guys can tell I know a lot about these things. Oh God, do not touch that. I know, I was like- That thing is worth more than your life. How does she feel? She feels good. I mean, I don't think I bought them the shocks out. The only way we're buying this is if you can wheelie it in the parking lot. If you can wheelie it, I'm buying it. I ain't wheeling it before we buy it. Bro, come oh, on! Get on there, Ricky, let's see it. Give her a vroom vroom. Give her hell, Junior. How do you, how do you work this thing? Woo! you can go? Yeah. Really? Ready for battle, Junior? test driving to see what we what we want here you like this one better yeah this one's way better than that safety first fits good does it fit pretty good yeah you look cool look at that look at the design yeah look, look that way look at the design on that I like it Shoo, Poppy. I'm happy with the purchase. Are you? Yeah, the thing's fun. It rips. I'm just glad it's like one of the cheapest things they had, so that helped. The plan is to take it home, rip it around, take it to the farm, rip it around, and try to not die. We got a helmet, so we're good. That way Bonzo can do flips, backflips, and all sorts of cool stuff. So anyways, we're headed home, and uh, I guess you guys should stay tuned. Shoo! Well, made it home, folks, and she, uh, she intact, Bonzo? Oh, yeah. She ain't gone nowhere, huh? If you were to guess, I'll let you pick first. We gotta race this thing, all right? We gotta race against the Bropad, because right now the Bropad's just a straight unit. I think the Moped's definitely faster than this. Moped slaps. But the Bropad, it's gonna be close. If you were to if you were to take one. I'm gonna take this. I think the Bropad says it's bigger. I think it says it's one ten. I'm not sure. Really? I can't remember, but I think this, this is I think this faster. is faster, too. I'm saying the ATV, too. I think we're gonna agree that the ATV, we think is faster, but we're gonna take it down there and race. I mean, I didn't spend all this money on this thing not to get hurt on it. We did get a helmet, so as long as it doesn't hurt the head, you know, the money maker, then we'll be all right. There's a lot of terraces on my property. There's, basically, I look at those as ramps. Farmers look at them as terraces. I look at them as ramps. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to ramp this thing. Yeah. Safety first, kids. Don't try this at home. I'm gonna die if I do this. You gotta do a wheelie. I feel like you do it like this. Yeah, probably. There you go. Yeah, that's how you do it, for sure. I'm scared though. There we go. That wasn't bad. I'm getting there's, the hang of it. something. You wanna try? Sure. Shoo! All right, well, just made it down to the animals. What up, boys and girl? Did y'all eat your apples and your food and your drink your, yeah, that one's pooping. So the road that I built, honestly, is a pretty good jump. Your only thing is you don't land entirely, like, flat. You kind of land at an angle, but it's not bad. This right here, so you have a long drive all the way here, into outer space. Yeah! Oh God, don't die. We need to take some dirt and build a ramp. Daddy's up. Oh. Wow. Oh yeah.
gotta try it. It's way easier. You come up this hill, do it, trying to do a wheelie, it works a lot easier. Gravity. Gravity or something. That was pretty sick. I'm surprised how long, I was able to kind of hold it and stall it. I think, I, I, I'm gonna say this. I think within a month, I can ride a wheelie from all the way up there to the top. I'm, right. I'm calling it right now. That's gonna be, every single morning I'm gonna practice that. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, right. there you go. You got it, Bonzo. Too much. Dude, that was good. You got it. You got this. Yeah! <laughs> that a kid. You're killing it. I guess we're going to the farm now. Woo! Well, we made it down to the farm. Woo hee! It's uh, well, the sun's going down. But uh, we got the old. We need to also we need to name this thing. Somebody freaking name it. We gotta name this thing. We named all the animals today. Name this guy. This is the old mini bike. It's the Claw M A. Okay, you guys get the idea. It's just a tiny little, tiny little bike. Perfect bon for Bonzo size. We're gonna get this thing unloaded, and uh, we're gonna race it against the bro pet. You stay tuned. All right, Poppy, fire her up. Hopefully she starts. She hasn't been starting. She hasn't been starting good. I, it's, I think it's old gas. We just need to throw some fresh gas, and we haven't filled the tank since we bought it. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, Bonza found the gas. Me at the end. At the end. You I, had me three quarters. I looked back and I was like, oh, he's coming. This thing, I, I thought it was opposite. I thought this thing would have a better start and that thing would have better long distance. Completely opposite. This thing sucks out the gate for me. And then that thing. So we'll try it one more time and just see if it makes a difference, I guess. We'll switch, we'll switch bikes. I think if we short if we shorten the track, you would yeah. smoke me. But it was just enough for me to gain speed yeah, and smoke past you. Yeah, dude, that thing's a beast. That thing keeps getting faster. Yeah, it's faster, yeah. for sure. This thing, it's got really quick off the line, but then it just, well, it's the governor. It's the governor. It's the governor. Yeah, it, we need, if we didn't hit governor off, that thing would probably smoke. Cause it's way faster out the gate. We're getting, we're getting more comfortable with this thing. I'm telling you, like, when I first got on, I was like, oh God, dude, I haven't ridden an ATV, I think I'm gonna die. Now I'm like power sliding everywhere. I feel like, I feel like it's good. I'm looking for a place to do wheelies, cause that was a freaking fun time. I mean, I don't wanna tear, I don't wanna tear up like the gravel road too much. I mean, the gravel road's not terrible, like all the gravel over there. Let's just take it to my house and see see what we can see what we can do here. I'm glad you didn't see that. What did you just do? I was just ripping it and like I kind I don't I don't know, I must have got stuck or something. But oh, I launched it, almost went into the water. Wait, I, what? I, I fell off back here and it just kept going. And it just kept going like the throttle. It's almost like I got stuck. But dude, I, if it wasn't for that log right there, it would have been in the water. Like I fell. Oh my! Yeah. Wait, look at you, bring it. Look, look, come here, come look at this. Uh, Wait, I'm glad you didn't see that. That was embarrassing. Buddy! Yeah. I literally got to my house and I'm like, where's Bonzo? I turned around. Dude, I literally, it was from the start. I just started going and I could not get it to, like, it I just, don't, It just got stuck? It felt like it just got stuck. Look at this thing. It got in the water a little muddy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what the? I was just trying to get going before you even noticed. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what I do. That's the first time I ever fell off this thing. So did you like whiskey throttle or what? Yeah, I don't even know. I just like cranked it and then, did it come out from I, under you? And then I like saved it, I thought, and then it's still like, I don't know. Damn it, I wish I was filming. I know you did. I missed him crashing. We spent all day ripping around doing dangerous things. Well, before we crash, Bonzo, you ripped your pants. I know, my new pants, my bro. $18 Costco pants. Bro, and your hands bleeding yeah. and like. Oh, you wanna see my leg? <laughs> hey, I'm so mad I missed it. I apologize. We need to strap a GoPro on Bonzo. We need to have a Bonzo cam at all times. Darn it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, go download Fish Brain. It'll be linked down below. If you're a fisherman and you want to catch more fish, that's what you guys need to use. It'll be linked down below. But we do need a name for this guy. But anyways, I think we're headed home. That was fun. I like this ATV now. At first, I didn't really like it. I was like, ah, 
Oh, this thing's pretty sick. Anyways, name this thing below. Go download Fish Brain. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.